we're doing. As you can probably hear from the fort, there's nothing else. Be a day's job. Uh, normally takes us a day to do it. Uh, a few hours to muck it out and then we've got a pressure washer. That's not a fun job. That's what you get with sheep because we don't bed them up very often and they don't produce much muck. It's not like cows where you like to muck them out once or twice during the winter and it's like you know, a few feet deep. Uh, it'll be about seven, seven, eight loads, maybe nine. I'm on the leading job, taking all the muck up. We've got a like a bit of a a bare bare patch of land where we tip the muck normally at the top here, and then we can either spread a bit on whatever field we want. There's about three or four fields we can get from here. So I'm on my way up to tip that. I'm just using one tractor and trailer. Uh, don't need to have two trailers going or two tractors. It's, yeah, it doesn't take that much to do what we've got. The wheats are looking good. This is the, the uh, wheat after oilseed rain. Costello, looking tremendous. And that's the wheat after beans where I drilled. I was drilling straight behind the combine. The gleam in there. It's, it's looking good. Well, there's a couple of, there's a bit at the top corner over there and a bit back over that way just on the sort of edge, edge of the field where it was wet but the rest of it looks good the only field that's a little bit thinner up here is uh, the one next to the farm the wheat one it, it suffered a lot of the wet we should have had the subsoiler in there but we'll learn for next time we're going to subsoil that everything pretty much this year, get a chance, it's dry, just to try and help crack, crack underneath because with all the wet we've had in the winter, it'll have, uh, it'll have pushed it down a bit. We're hopefully going to get some rain tonight and tomorrow, which will be nice. Yeah, I've just, just started the pile here. It's not very big at the minute, it'll look very big when we're finished. So I've just got the tent and Marshall trailer on and just got the back door off. We don't like to use the, the 14 ton trailers for muck because uh, they've only ever done grain and it keeps them keeps them better nick. And we just use the, the tent ton trailer. I mean if we had more muck to shift, we would use the bigger trailers. There's just no there's just not the need for us. We'll head back down. Well, I 
So I've had to take the pump off the sprayer as it, um, it was fluctuating, like well, pulsing on the flow, flow rate, like it wasn't flowing out right. Uh, so I think there could be something wrong internally with it. So on the weekend, Dad and I took the, the pump off and he's just running it down to the, the dealer to get it sorted. So I might only have a load or two to do it myself. Then he should be back. So I've had six loads up, I think. I've had six loads. I think there'll be another maybe three or four. It's a little bit more than what I thought it would be here. Yeah. I think it's because we brought the sheep in. We brought the sheep in slightly earlier this year. So obviously they've been in a bit longer and used a few more bales, a bit more muck. We don't have a lot of muck normally on our farm, but even we have, we did spread it like last year on the, one of the fields, and the direct jeweler farm seemed to manage all right with it. You know, as long as you don't, as long as the spreader man doesn't put it on too thick, uh, the drill will go through it all right. That'll do for a load. Right, so uh, Dad's busy. Well, I've got finished mucking out like the trailer of it, loads. Dad's just started pressure washing. So I'm gonna push the mucky butt and then we'll go back and I'll, uh, I'll give him a hand. It's not much of a push up, but it's meant to rain later on, so we'll get, we'll get on with that. So I've just been talking to the camera, I thought, for about 5-10 minutes while I've been pushing up the muck heap, and it turns out I didn't press a record button. So basically I came up with a forklift before, and I've pushed the muck heap up, that's it there, it's not very much, but we don't have much muck. So I'm gonna go down, back down to the farm now, and we'll give Dad a hand to pressure wash your shed out. Is the next plan.
that's it washed out mucked out for another year get the park tractors and things in trailers and then we'll be round the clipping time in a month so dad's just taking the last of the sloppy stuff up to the muck midden i've got a couple of pellets to put in for the pet lambs and some ewes we've got around here and i'll make that do for a video so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later